Hello everyone, and welcome to Dreaming Mary. Dreaming Mary is really just an RPG maker game. It's really interesting. I unfortunately have played it before. As you can see, I have like a million save files. Because I've tried to record this before. Didn't work. I've done it like twice now, but I mean, whatever, right? Let's just get into it, okay? New dream. Just remember that you can do anything in your dreams if you try. You can change your dreams. You can change your life through your dreams. You have that kind of power. Find the key that turns dreams into reality and the entire world will open up for you. But Mary, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams, you won't ever wake up. Anyway, she's just introducing herself in that. Sorry, I skipped it. Uh, you can actually get this game for... It's a free game, so you, I'll just put the link in the description below. Controls, okay, save. Actually, I actually haven't played this game in a lo long time, so... I probably won't remember a whole ton. Here. Now that that's over with, let's take a short break. Next up on the music, Nightmarish by Harmonic Blend. Yeah, this is actually a song uh, on <laughs> that's in this game. So yeah, there's a vase with a pretty white flower in it. Two of the petals have fallen off. Take the flower. Bravo, Louis. Dylan. There's a big fluffy bed. So sweet. This should work. Let's move on to the Q and A. We've gotten quite a few letters of support from you fans. Thank you for your encouragement. I'm very happy about the response we've gotten. Now let's start with a letter from Isaiah. He asked, "I wonder, does Mary have a favorite type of dream, and how does she favor them?" Yes, indeed, Isaiah. Mary's favorite dreams are the long ones that take her deep and away into different worlds. She doesn't like short dreams because oh, there's they're a dark, going dark and still and scary. Ow, oh, there's something hung inside. Got the gold leaf key. Also, if you want to skip these. Ifaya also submitted a haiku in his letter. We asked him to read it for us, and here it is. Sasaguren, anata, yumeji no. Thank you for your beautiful poem. The next set of questions is from Sonwe. The first one is, Mary in the dream has pink hair and a pink dress, but does she look like that in the waking world? That's an excellent question, Sonwe. Mary in the real world is very different. In fact, her name isn't even Mary. In the real world, Mary has brown hair Interesting. There's a lot of story in these videos. The next so. question was sent anonymously. Here's the first one. Does Mary have any kind of special power or an iconic item? What a fun question. Mary does indeed have a special power. In fact, her power is what created the dream world. You see, everyone in this universe has a sort of power which is passed down through families. In Mary's case, she can create worlds in her dreams. Also, her iconic item is a white lily. 
Anyway, those are a lot of uh, different pieces of insight into uh, this little dream world. Now, uh, the first time through, there are a lot of different endings actually, but the first time through, uh, there's a large door, you can hear someone coming when you get it. I'll just get the regular ending. There's a large blue door, you can hear someone reading it aloud. Large door, you can hear someone giggling in it. I can't remember, it's been a while. The statue has an engraving on its foot. The red fruit is death's temptation. Empty podium. I like this one. The gold fruit is a prize for the winner. Stack door. Oh my, hello there, Mary. Vanilda, huh? Hmm. Wonder where that's from. <laughs> Spin-off. Hmm. How do I know you? Why, that's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? Uh, yes. Oh my, oh my. Well, you were very small when we first met. It's no wonder. Well, my name is Vanilla. I'm the maid of your dreams. Hehe. <laughs> if you don't remember me, I bet you don't remember anyone else, too. That's alright. To get started, why don't you go visit Pen Gwindel in the ne room next door? Okay, well, let's just go uh, meet this pen. Dude, dude, the music in this game is really good too. Oh, we're in like Sleeping Beauty. Finally, she came to an old tower, a narrow stairway led up to it. Being curious, she climbed up until she came up to a door. There was a yellow, small yellow key in the door. She turned it and the door sprang open. She found herself in a small room where an old woman sat spinning flax. So, uh, this storybook is just like a story of Serene Beauty. If you don't know Serene Beauty, then you can, you know, just read this <laughs> fairy tale. Uh, other than that, it doesn't have much more relevance that I could find anyway. Mary, is that you? Why, what a surprise. It's been years, hasn't it? You've certainly grown since we last met. Would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream, after all. You have to say hello to Foxanne when you're done. She'll be ecstatic to know that you're here again. Go tall along now. Well, see you later, Pen. This game is really, really pretty. But as the description says, it's deceptive. Since this is a horror game, I mean, I hope I put that in the title anyway. Mary? Mary, is that you? Wow, look at you. Going up on me, huh, kid? Can't believe you hadn't even stopped to visit these past few years. You're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. Not if I can help it. We should go talk to Boris first, then we can play some games together, like in the old days. Just go down the stairs at the end of the hall. You can't miss that door. It's the only one after mine. Ok, 
hidden. Anyway, these three people, or more like animals, I suppose. This one's pretty nice. It looks pretty. The, the blue one is like stoic. It, it fits all three of their personalities very well. Let's open the store. There's a. Who's that? Boris, aren't you? Oh, Mary, sweetheart, you're back. I missed you, darling. Isn't this place beautiful? It's all for you, dear. For tonight, why don't you go play with the others? We can have our own special time later. All right, sweetie. She said, I don't trust this little boar here. Well, whatever. Uh, why don't we go to Benilla first, shall we? Oh my, oh Mary, welcome back. Are you having fun in your dreams? Gee, <laughs> say, if you're not busy, could you help me? I just can't figure out how to arrange these statues. Sure. Yay, thanks so much. You see, there's actually a story behind these statues. Two goddesses fell in love with the same man and they spent years fighting for him. One of the goddesses was the queen of the underworld. The other was the goddess of love. Please help me show this story with the shit statues. So, um, these two are goddesses apparently. One is the goddess of the underworld and the other one is the opposite, I think. Uh, red is the fruit of temptation. Which would you like to s So, Let's see, there are three statues here. Hmm. Let's see, I'll have to redo this one again, I can't remember. The gold fruit is a prize of a, for the winner. So this one is confidence, I think. Oh wait, no, no, no. Huh. Hmm. No, this is the guy. This is the guy. I'm pretty sure. These are the goddesses. There's a statue of a man being attacked by a wild boar. There's a statue of a young woman holding a basket of fruits and vegetables. There's a statue of the most beautiful one you have seen. Okay. I think I did it right, so I'll talk to her again. Hi, Mary. Do you need anything? Uh, I guess I... I didn't do it right. Okay. I think it's the opposite then. Common statue. Uh, longing statue. And wounded statue. Wow, this is really, this looks really good. You did a great job, Mary. You really have an eye for these things. I'll be sure to ask if I need more help. Okay. Uh... So, he's being attacked by boar, and I guess they're fighting for years, so I guess that's how it works. Whatever. Let's go. It's cool. Pen. Win. Del. Welcome back, Mary. Oh, so you managed to help Benilda? That's very nice of you. Since you're here, would you mind lending me a hand, too? Sure. Excellent. Thank you for your assistance. Read a book by an author named Williams. I read a book by an author named Williams a while ago. It was about a stuffed rabbit. Unfortunately, I can't remember what it looked like. Could you find it and tell me what color it is? Hmm. There's a white book of a girl and a blue dress in the cover. There's a brown book of a boy playing. Okay, where the wild things are. A yellow book. And a velveteen rabbit. Let's talk. Discard the book. What color is it? It is indeed. Uh, where is it? Yellow. Hmm. 
Oh, you're right. Excellent work, Mary. There are so many books to enjoy. What a time to be alive. There should be one more book. No, there. I think there are two. The blue a girl on the pink on the cover. Charlotte's Web. And there's a white book of talking animals on the cover. Aesop's Fables. Let's go over here, y'all. Foxanne. Hello, how are you? Hey, kiddo. What's up? You've been hanging out with Vanilla and Gwendel. Hey, what about me, huh? Alright, let's play a game. You up for it? Great. We'll just play a game of hide and seek. I'll hide somewhere in this room and you'll have to find me. For this round, you'll get 45 seconds. Just talk to me again when you're ready. Okay, well, here we go. Alright, let's get started. Try to find me before the 45 seconds are up. Okay. She'll be somewhere here. I can't remember. Also, these things in the foreground is like a little bit iffy. Oh. Oh. Hey, you found me. Nice work. Good job, kid. Let's play another round sometime. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I played with all of them. My mom told me not to hang around with strangers or weird looking boars. Gosh dang it. Hello, Mary, my special girl. Are you having fun in your dreams? <laughs> That's great, sweetheart. I'm glad you like it so far. This world was made especially for you, after all. It shouldn't be right if you didn't like it. It's so early. Why don't you go play some more with your friends? Okay, then. This is very ominous over here. I will 